back in the U.S. might not seem like a lot, but here it is kind of a big deal. Their scene is growing, and that's one of the reasons he brought out so many players in the stream. Yeah. Was to really put some light and grow the scene out here. So yeah. kudos to all of UAE Smash. UAE Smash. Yeah, but we're going to see what happens right here. We got uh, PB&J and EE. Actually, I thought he was going to pick up pick up the link or pull out the link, but he's going to go with the Mario. PB&J, ever since Renai did well at Genesis, has decided he wanted to be a villager main. We're going to see how that pays off for him here against this Titan team of MVD and ESAM. We've been teaming for years. Literally years, yeah. transcending games. And yeah. if Smash 5 comes out, I could be I'll believe they'll be doing it again. Yeah. Um, now, with that said, it's been almost a minute into the match, and Blue Team hasn't lost a stock. So it's definitely a good job by them because they're not the favorites, definitely the underdogs in this yeah. situation. But also, I mean, they're keeping it decently and relatively close right now. You know, this is 87 to, uh, or I say 100 to the late, you know, 70s and whatnot. Look, kind of, never mind. And there it is. He's First stock first gone. Yeah. Um, we're not really seeing the same teamwork we normally see from MVD and ESAM. I'm not sure if they're playing with their food or just kind of warming up. Not for you. It looks it looks a little bit more like a two one v ones. Yeah, MVD is still doing a decent job of coming to the ground whenever uh, ESAM's in the air. But oh, ESAM with the edge guard right now. Is he actually going to get rid of EE? <laughs> now, that could have been that could have been huge damage right there from MVD. Uh, Usually in doubles when someone's like on the ledge and you uh, recover like under them. If your opponent's on the stage, that's a free punish because they usually got to roll on. Is that it? Almost. Not it. The arrow one not quite strong enough for that finishing touch to KO that low. Yeah. Um, okay, well, as we were talking about teamwork not looking that great, the dash attack actually <laughs> from MVD takes out ESAM, so. ESAM right now about to try to edge guard two foes at once. Almost lost a stock for it with that stage spike. But MVD right there to cover the stage. What's the double kill at that with the blade beam? All right, let's go, MVD. Sniper MVD looking out. like the MVP right now. Let's go. <laughs> he is the only one with three stocks still unscathed. Okay. Sending him off right here. Not going to get too much off of that again. I mean, I think I'm not really sure what the blue team needs to do to like kind of make things uh, more into their favor. I, I feel like EE definitely has to play front. But at the same time, you know, with this overwhelming force that uh, the red team is given, I feel like they never get a chance to just define roles. Yeah. They um, have to take what they can get. They got a chance right now. Did get rid of MVD stock. Right now, it is so important to not let MVD stay in the back and charge that limit. Yeah. Because he will get the finishing touch off of ECN's grab time and time again. There it is. He got oh, okay, so huge combo coming in from them. That was actually like a like a four tilt into an up smash to a down B. The down B is coming in again. ECM right now just kinda all over both of these guys. Even oh, there just covering MVD on that landing so perfectly. Okay, the back throw, good stuff right there for EE. If he did anything else, I think he might have got chopped up. Just like that. You know, so he prolonged his death, but just like that, this game is over. Only th uh, three minutes off the clock and we are in the game too. I feel like Esam has seen the slowdown from Limit Cross Slash so many times that he <laughs> he actually doesn't freeze up. Most people kind of stop when it slows down. He just kept running, got that up smash right on command. I definitely still freeze yeah. up. Me too. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, man. I'm just not that player. <laughs> I've, I've been getting better though. Now it's time to tech. I take I'm a second, take a deep breath. I've died multiple Start times while recovering, and my teammate does finish the touch, and I'm off stage like, wait, I can't see myself dead. It's done. So we got to switch over. Uh, do we get Link Mars? Is that where we're going right now? Oh, no, Lucario Mars. Okay, so the Anubis strat is what he's trying to pull right now. Well, I guess it makes a lot of sense. If uh, you don't feel like you can defeat your opponent. Yeah, I'm saying if you feel like you're going to be losing <laughs> stocks a lot. like Yeah, just, you know, it gets stronger for it at least. <laughs> now, I'm not quite sure about the switch to Mars by PBNJ. Oh, my goodness, that F-Smash hitting that both players. Like. I, I, like, I kind of like the switch from PBNJ to Mars. Oh, oh my goodness. Did you make this back? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I like I like PBJ's idea of trying to what and who well, like, even I, I guess he figured he was supposed to lose the stock last time, oh, yeah. so he just does it this time. And MVD said, you know what, man, PBJ, go ahead and follow your boy. Two wow. stocks apiece on blue team. And right now, Esam looking for another edge guard attempt. Okay, takes a small uh, punish right here, but again, you know, or might be able to rack up huge damage right here from MVD. Always knowing what like where to go or which smash to throw out when uh, Esam does the throw, so. Okay, and that Shadow Ball, I think that definitely saved him. Yeah, not, maybe not from imminent, something. Yeah, maybe not from imminent death, but he was definitely going to take a lot of damage off that up smash. Ooh. You know, it, it, I really like how their team works between ESAM and MVD. MVD is just such a good support player. You can see it time and time again, except for when he misses things like that. <laughs> um, but ESAM, not only is he really good at the front line, but he's also good at edge guarding. Yeah. So MVD gets to just stay on stage where Cloud kind of dominates. And then just follow up off of Esam's aggression. Okay, oh, good jab. And sending him out should be able to get the yeah, and good, good angle right there by EE too. On straight to the ledge. But let's see what he can do right here. He's got 
Uh, like half or right now. Oh, trying, he's trying to wait till he gets. Oh wait, he's actually, actually on his last I think stock. He's at max or. I believe it's if you're down a stock, it takes 80 percent, and if you're down two stocks, it it's the 40 percent. Yeah, I'm trying to see. He he not charging shadow uh, or these aura spheres. I need to see these ones that take up half a stage. You know the 26 percent. Oh, and we're not gonna see that in this game. Well, so, he, wait, hold on. Take a stock. Yeah, that's right, it. Happens. That, oh, oh, that was never hey. your stock, PB and J. <laughs> that was never your stock. Uh, Team PG looking at a two-stock potentially right now. Saying these character switches only made it worse for you. AE definitely just threw it, did a back throw into a taunt. Like, all right, man, I'll, I need one shadow or uh, Orsfield kill. Kill, okay, that's all I need. I need that joint to hit. It, look, 122 right now. He, he's not even going to get a chance to charge it. That's the problem. Oh, oh, no. Oh. oh, no. Oh, no. You're going to do it again? Okay, time it with the taunt, like. Oh okay, my we're just not even gonna goodness, waste time. That is a not even clip. gonna waste time. I hope the I hope people are viewing in. You know, just, just tell them to come watch the stream because we get to watch E Sam and MVD just put on a show. I mean that was that was the definition of taunt to get bodied right there. Like he Were they? He uh he taunted and then he immediately got slapped after that, so